guys it oaks your brother from the u.s welcome to the channel and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe share comment down below one click away my friend and you all set and we're gonna say also welcome to another club to the family strasbourg or strasbourg <laughs> that's how we pronounce it so welcome to the blue family because they are part of Chelsea group. So the multi club is on already at Chelsea Football Club. And uh, Todd Bolly is doing wonder. So I've already made a video to present to you the new club, the stadium, the stadium names, the, the ultras, which is the, the supporters over there and give more details so check on the list down down below and uh, you can learn a little bit more about strasbourg all right my friend so this is my daily news roundup so this is the show that i always go through some headlines not everything but big headlines in the Chelsea community during the day. So before you go to bed or be, when you wake up very early in the morning, you kind of uh, have the summary of everything that happened during the day. And today is June the 22nd, 2023. So as you can see here, official uh, document released by Strasbourg over there. And it said that uh, Blue blue co which is like the new you know the new chelsea group and everybody is gonna be part of the blue co <laughs> uh he they sign an agreement to become new shareholders of french side strasbourg mark keller remains as president of uh, strasbourg over there we're not gonna make so many changes we don't know if we're gonna own it like 100 percent or 60 percent or 40 percent or we we're still waiting for the confirmation to know uh but i heard that we're gonna be the majority shareholders there with uh, all the decisions made by todd Bowley and his people so congratulations to todd Bowley and the blues and welcome to the family strasbourg this is going to open the door to our youngsters to go on loan over there and also us keep an eye open on the French League and we're going to be scouting over there, discovering those young kids from France. Before they become Mbappe, we already detected them and send them on formation over there at, Stra at Strasbourg. And then if they are good enough, they can make it to the main, to the main team at Chelsea in London. You know what I mean? Okay, my people. So we, we have to really jump very quickly to some news. Fabrizio Romano understand that Chelsea are still working on Moises Caicedo deal. Personal terms are almost agreed and players' priority still Chelsea as things stand. This is very important as things stand because everything can change just in a snap in, in the world of football. Who would have thought that Manchester City were going to jump on the Declan Rice deal? So Chelsea need to act very fast for Moises Caicedo because if Arsenal miss out on him, they are... Uh, if they miss out on Declan Rice, they are going to jump into Moises Caicedo. But also I understand Chelsea's position because of the financial cycle that will end at the end of this month, like June the 30th. They don't want to spend money because it's going to be a lot of stuff with the financial fair play. So we, fingers crossed, we are praying that... Uh, Nobody comes in and hijack our target before that date. But if it, uh, it's very risky, I think Chelsea are going to just jump into the opportunity and, and just get it done and know how to deal with the financial fair play after that. So 
so uh we are moving Caesar Aspiliqueta you know he been linked with uh, Thomas Tuchel's at Bayern he been linked with uh, uh, another link back in Spain that he need to go back home and finish his career last season Barcelona wanted him but um Thomas Tuchel gave him three more years he wanted to keep him in the team as a leader but now Inter have included Caesar Aspiliqueta in their list for this summer as as um, talks already took place with Chelsea. Uh, he's a concrete option as per Sky Sport, blah, 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 blah. Could be one more outgoing for Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, I'm praying that uh, Aspiliqueta leaves so we can start really building from scratches without without taking care of or, oh, such and such because he's old enough. You have to give him playing time and order. But I'm afraid because Inter always try to to mug us off, you know. They might bring, oh, listen, we will offer you two pounds plus two bags of uh, basmati rice. So uh, they always try to lowball Chelsea. They can't even get the Lukaku deal uh, done. They are very complicated about uh, Onana. So why should we do them a favor? I I, I don't know. I I kind of I'm I'm tired of doing business with Inter at this point. Okay, my friend, so we're going to move very quickly, and this is another Inter deal here. So exclusive from Fabrizio Romano, Lukaku, Loya, Sebastian, uh, Ledur. He said that no talks ongoing with AC Milan, so he's not going to switch from Inter to, to, to Milan. You know, he's not going to do that. Romelu wants to stay in Europe, confirm uh this by not joining saudi now been offering offered crazy amount of money he doesn't want to go and chelsea position is clear okay you have to pay the the money get him on permanent or nothing i think this is a very good position for chelsea inter have the ball in their court they have to come up with something right if they want him on loan so i brought some solutions here if they want so badly on loan, let's let do this. You you take him on loan with obligation to buy, no matter what. You can't cancel it. It's like obligation, and with better terms. Don't tell me, oh, we're gonna pay you five million after eight years. No, not that way. And uh, another solution is Lukaku and his lawyer need to come and cancel the contract with Chelsea Football Club. You know, we compromise financially, both sides. We come to the middle. We cancel the contract. He leaves as a free agent. And then it's a win-win for everybody. So he doesn't want to go to Saudi in order for Chelsea to get good money. But he's pushing Chelsea to accept whatever conditions uh, Inter are imposing us. But... The, good, the, the big thing here is he doesn't even talk about his salary. He doesn't take his salary off, but he's pushing Chelsea to keep him in the same wage but accept low ball from Inter. Listen, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lukaku. Everybody knows about it. I don't have any issue by him coming back to Chelsea, but you don't want to come to Chelsea. And then the club first. So it's only you. And what about the interest of my club? You know what I mean? All right. So, just to remind you, this is becoming boring. We hear this uh, for a few days now. ZH Kulibali Mendy will undergo medical tests in the next days as all the documents are being prepared. Yeah. Obamiang, I heard that uh, Thomas Tuko is considering to to get him at Bayern so somebody is coming to to help us if Aubameyang don't want to go to Saudi and Thomas Tuchel feels bad for him and and sign him for Bayern it's going to be a win win for everybody because i feel for for Oba he came to play for Thomas Tuchel and few days he was sucked so now he need to save soldier 
Aubameyang. Okay, people, without uh, taking all your time here, those are the big headlines. So I'm going to just let you go at the moment. Go and follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Green Turf, as you see right now on the screen. I always make some very funny and good short videos there just to keep you entertained. Give it a try. I made a video about the vision of Todd Bowley about the kid, you know, the youngsters from the academy and the vision of uh, multi-club and all that. So next, we could go and buy Rio Avenue because uh, Sport Memphis, uh, Sport Mense, uh having some issues now. The deal is not going through. So let's hope that uh, we're going to continue buying clubs because it's going to open us and it's going to bring us to the level of Manchester City so we don't have to go through the cycle every single season. All right. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and see you next time.